This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now in the previous example of very basic editing, we see here that the two clips were hard cut and left as is, but there are a gazillion different ways to transition between clips, some of which can be done manually, or as we see here, you can use some of the presets for transitions down here. Let's take a look. Click on this down arrow and we see all kinds of stuff that we can choose from. A dissolve. Cross dissolve, dip to black, dip to white. It's endless. So you can use these presets and we'll show you in just a minute how to use the presets, but let's take a look. You should at least be familiar if you never use it, you should at least be familiar with how to do it manually. And really the only thing you can do manually is fade in, fade out. It's very difficult to do something really, really creative on a manual basis. You can do it, but it's a lot of work and you're really going to be better off by using some of these presets on the video transitions. But let's take a look on how to do it manually. All right, we're going to hold down the Alt key. We're going to zoom in a little tighter on what we're doing here. And let's look again at what we got. Okay. Y'all are the best. Thank you. The picture. And of course you can see the hard cut, but let's just for the sake of conversation say we want to do a fade in and fade out. And I'm only going to fade out the video, fade in the video. I'm going to leave the audio up. But generally speaking, this is the rule. Now rules in this process are made to be broken, but learn the rules, but then when you break the rules, you'll at least be doing it on an informed basis. So here's the rule. When you edit the video, you also do the same thing to the audio. So we're gonna establish an anchor point right here, just like this. We come over here and this is the add remove keyframe. So we click on that. Now we come down here and we clip on that and these are our anchor points. Now we're gonna take our indicator, we're gonna move it right there under the very last frame of clip 37. And we're gonna add another keyframe anchor. Now we're gonna grab this and pull it down. You see the orange rubber band as it points down? Well, I said I wasn't going to adjust the audio, but I might as well do it just to show you how it's done. Now, this audio has got pulled down in a previous lesson, so I'm going to go ahead and move this back up to where it should be so that you can at least hear something. Now, let's take a look at what we've got. <laughs> okay. Y'all are the best. Are we the best? Thank you. Picture. That's a very basic fade edit done manually, very quick and easy to do. Now, let's say you don't want to go from a fade out to a hard in, so let's do the same thing on the other side. And generally, you want to match these up. So what we've got, you kind of have to look at this and do it by the seat of your pants. That's just how I'm going to do it at this point. I'm going to throw in an anchor here, throw in an anchor here. Now I'm going to come back. You want to get that first keyframe in there. Another anchor and another anchor. Then we're going to draw it down. And we're going to draw it down. Now let's look at our transition, see how that looks. Okay. Y'all are the best. Are we the best? Thank you. Clear the trail, y'all. He's in the trail. And that's very useful in some circumstances. Now, let's say you want to do a blended fade in, fade out. Well, that's going to necessitate moving the clips. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the clip on video two, and we're going to punch it up to video three. And then we're going to take the clip from video one and punch it up to video two. And then we're going to put this one right there. And let's go ahead and expand this so that you can see everything we're doing. Okay, now let's take a look at what we've got. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Clear the trail, y'all. So there you have what's known as a crossfade, and that's a manual crossfade. It's very, very rough, and if you wanted to tweak it, what you would do is you would take this keyframe right here and move it over. Now let's go ahead and put this in right there so that it snaps, and then we're going to take this and move it over to match. And now let's take a look again, see how that works. <laughs> okay. Y'all are the best. Are we the best? Thank you. Oh, get that back. 
Clear the trail, y'all. And there we have a relatively decent crossfade. So that's how you do that. Again, experiment, do your own thing. You can do a white flash between, which is what I've seen some people do. There's all kinds of different things that you can do manually, but take a look at this transition stuff over here, these presets. And in the next lesson, I'll show you how to use these so that you can really simplify and improve the quality of your transitions.